Well, first off, it opens up and Black, and Blackbird's like, I'm Maggie Tyler Mesta. And then he just starts screaming. Auctions is song of the year. So, Mansions 2 just came out. And for annoying, annoying people like me, this is like a national holiday. And they gave us 15 songs. One's five minutes long. And one is 59 seconds. So, okay. The Green Spangled Banner. Let's go. religious experience first thoughts that song was nuts well first off it opens up and Matt and Blackbird's like I'm Matt and, Matt and, Matt and then he just starts screaming that that song was a lot uh there, there uh, there's a lot to unpack in that I don't even know options with a z Okay, I like the beat. <sighs> so, I'm just gonna put, put the TikTok up. So Manchester 2 comes out tonight and Blackberry and my Posner just got married last night. Congrats. But on the live last night, they played this song in the background. If we get this song. If we get that song, I've been wanting this song for months. I've wanted this song for so long and now I have it. Options is song of the year. So options is gonna be my favorite song. I already know it, but yeah. This next song is called Annihilate slash Third Eye. Options? Okay, we need to go back to options. The lyrics are fucking amazing. The beat was sick as fuck. The production was perfect. Blackbird and Mike sound fucking... They, thought they sound fucking perfect. Like, that was a perfect song. The definition of a perfect song is options. Yeah, so now let's go to track three. <laughs> Black Bear, Black Bear's vocals. The beat's so good. So now, Annihilate slash Third Eye was so, so good. Black Bear's vocals are fucking amazing. <sighs> okay, FYSU. screaming in FYSU that was so like powerful and so good wow okay boys don't cry There's a transition between Boys Don't Cry and High Again. Whew. Boys Don't Cry was a fucking roller coaster. The drum beat that goes from like the left to the right. And then Black Bear's vocals are stunning. I just have no words. Like I'm, I'm kind of in denial that this is even like a thing. High Again, let's go. This is giving old Matt Musto. <laughs> a much more chill song compared to the last five the lyrics were super super 
relatable as someone who struggles uh, with addiction. <laughs> if I wasn't loaded up on antidepressants, I'd be sobbing. <laughs> but that was really good and I relate to that song a lot. So that one's special to me for sure. Blood Bath. <laughs> This song screams like Halloween. It's Halloween, by the way, happy Halloween. This like, it's just like, it feels like such like a passion project. Like I feel like they're just making music that like they want to make, not because like they're trying to like get up to some standard or something, I don't know. Okay, ride, die, eat, sleep, fuck, kill. Five minutes long, longest track in the album. Black Bears vocals are dressed. just dropped so i'm running so i just bought the green vinyl and the signed cd okay we are now on mansion's ranch and people on twitter are saying this one's weird but it's only 59 seconds so let's see what it's about i'm confused <laughs> so goofy but also like like the small tiny things like there was a little bit of like a reverse vocal in there that i heard and i'm like good job not that they need my fucking approval i don't have much to say about that basically they fucking had an orgasm the end mount everest let's see how horny this song is it's like the one sad song <laughs> I was like, let's see how horny this song is. And now I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> that was like so emotional and needed. It's about addiction and um you need to just go listen to it. Mount Everest by Mansions. Um it's like a poem reading of Black Bear about addiction and it's so real. This song's called Stay Alive. <laughs> religious experience that was another emotional song two emotional songs right back to back and you know i was judging it based off of mansion's ranch i'm pretty sure that's based off of ram ranch do you guys know that song i'm pretty sure that's what they're alluding to um that song was beautiful um i thought it was produced really really well on um, the lyrics are wonderful yeah this album has so much to it like it opens up with like them telling me that they're gonna shove my throat up their asshole and then they start screaming at me and then they talk about addiction and then i when i start crying journey of one slash on my way yeah yeah we got the yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm sick of all this medicine i have to take for illnesses me that song was also emotional three emotional songs in a row jesus christ mike's verse and black bear's verse were so fucking good my invincible smile let's get it only three more songs left and one of them is called silence and it's 37 seconds <laughs> Invincible Smile ends with end of album. But there's two more tracks. And the last track is called Come Ruin Food for Me. I tasted it and I'm hooked. Sorry, mom. <laughs> okay, is silence just silence? Yeah, I think this is just silence. So there's a track that's just 37 seconds of silence. And then we're going to go into Come Ruin Food for Me. I tasted it and I'm hooked. Sorry, mom. A few more seconds of silence. Check out my farts. My blood is bleeding. Yes, 
<laughs> yes, yes, Manchin's Ranch is um definitely tied to Ram Ranch because they just talked about horses and ramming. Okay. <laughs> what a great way to end the album. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you my review. First time listening to this. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Here's my, I forgot to show you guys my Hello Kitty cup that I got today. But I literally dyed my hair green uh, for this. So there's so much into this. Like they literally just released it on a random Tuesday. I know it's Halloween, but they just released it on a Tuesday. No singles or anything. And they literally told us like less than a week ago. So they're like, hi, 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 we're releasing it. And it's like, I feel like that gives me the energy that and the vibe that they really just like made whatever the fuck they want and just put it out there. And I love that so much. Options is going to rule my life for until I die. I'll probably get a tattoo for it. The songs where it's like screaming, that's amazing. The uh, Black Bear Screams were fucking nuts. And yeah, Mansion's Ranch is definitely related to Ram Ranch. If you don't know what Ram Ranch is, it's this ridiculous song where it's just talking about like gay men go into this ranch this like farm ranch to get in the bathroom for like it's like five minutes long and it's just like this generic guitar like rock song on loop like it ends and then it starts over the instrumental it's so goofy also just like the deep deep messages in this like especially not everest not everest is i might have to get a tattoo for that too honestly black bear's vocals in annihilate fucking crazy and third eye are crazy Mike's verse on Journey of One, holy fuck, and on Stay Alive. If it weren't for the pills that I'm on uh, to keep me happy, I would be sobbing. Like, track 10 through 13 are just like, okay, time to cry. Thanks for watching me freak out over mansions. I'm extremely tired. Um, if you can't tell, I had a long day at work and just a long day. Um, and I have a long week ahead of me. So I think I'm going to try and get some sleep. Emphasis on try because... Options is now in my possession and I can just listen to whatever I want and just go Like you saw me react to options like Good night go listen to mansions too. I wouldn't even call this like an album This is like a work of art like sometimes you just listen to an album. And you're like that isn't just music That is like an actual artwork an art piece. Okay. Bye. Happy Halloween